we're going to do here is make a very simple little T chart on half the page. So we're going to go down, kind of go like this. Okay, we're going to do some brainstorming up here, and we'll do some writing down here. So on this side, this is going to be all about you. All about you. And then on this side, it's going to be all about this class. So for the all about you side, we want to have at least five bullet points for this first activity. So I just want you to be open-minded, think about yourself, think about what you value. First, let's talk about your goals. Okay. If there's a certain job or type of job that you'd like to have, write that down. Maybe there's a few different types of jobs you'd like to have. Write down as many as, as you have. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for asking. Uh, maybe it's your post, your post secondary. Don't write down post secondary. I want you to write down what, what is it after high school you'd like to do? So some of you probably want to go to college. Some of you may want to enlist in the military. Some of you may want to go straight to the workforce, go to trade school. I want you to write down your post-secondary goals. This is all about goals up here. Okay, so any types of job goals that you have, even if they're not fully formed in cement, write them down. Any possible jobs that you want to do, any possible post-secondary plans that you have. Maybe it's something also that you want to accomplish in your life. So it could be like an ultimate life achievement. There's at least one person in one of my classes that wrote on Friday that they want to write a book. So that's the type of thing that you could put down. I want to write a book. I want to uh, live in a certain area. I want to travel the world. Any other types of goals that you have for your life, put first, okay? Now next, I want you to start to think about your ideal future self. Ideal future self. So I, I described for you in the warm-up activity, guys, that, um, you know, something that my dad said to me that, that, I, I internalized, as he said, I want you to be happy. You know, my dad said that. So in the, so if you want to, you know, probably you do want to be happy. And hopefully in the warm-up, you kind of thought about what that means to you. But what else would describe your ideal future self? Okay, so so your, your ideal future self. Your ideal future self. What is that person like? You know, something that was important to me is to be hardworking. My grandpa really emphasized, I want you to be a hard worker. You know, he emphasized, I want you to be smart. Those became values of my own. Describe your ideal future self. Maybe that person is kind. Maybe they're dependable. Maybe they're smart. Maybe they're curious. A common one that a lot of students will say to me is they want to be successful. So, just what words describe that ideal future self, okay? All in the same box for, for this stuff that I'm saying right now. Yes, good question. Yeah, because this side is all about us. Okay, so we want at least five bullet points over there for this to, to work out for us. So anything that describes you, don't, don't edit yourself out. Not trying to do the right answer here. You're just trying to get ideas on the page of things like, yeah, this is what I would like my life to be like. This is who I would like to be like in future. Okay, looks like most of you have about five bullet points at least. So let's move over to here. This class. What are the types of things that we do again and again in this class? Maybe every day, maybe every week. What types of activities or workouts, mental workouts, do we do in this class frequently? Give me some. Okay, we write a lot in this class. Well, 
I'll, I'll write down another one. We learn world history. That's kind of the that's kind of the obvious one in the world history class. But something that something that we do a lot is we write. Okay, we write for extended time. We write about lots of things. Claire, how's my handwriting looking? On point. Thank you, Claire. Appreciate that. Respect. Mad respect. All right, what else do we do a lot in this class? We do more stuff than just write. Discuss. Pop up debates, discussions. Okay, pop up debates. So that incorporates a lot of what you just said. We speak, Ashton. You said listen. Okay, we work on our PV legs, our speech delivery. Okay, there's another thing that I definitely expect you guys to do. And some of you guys wrote about it in your warm pond Friday. And I'll use your language. We practice locking in. Lock in. Now, this is, this is your guys' language, but it's an ancient idea. What is locking in? When kids say, oh, I got to lock in, what do, they, what do these people mean? Focus. On task. Kingston? Be focused. Focused. Getting it done. Being productive. So I like this whole lock-in verbiage that you guys have been using this year. Because what you're describing is a life skill that we practice every day in this class. Locking in. I'll just give you a couple more. We do various kinds of note taking. Okay, and I'll say one more thing. We persevere through difficulty. For some of you, the hardest thing that I ask you to do is to stand up and speak in a positive debate. For others, it's to write. For others, it's to lock in. For others, it's to prepare for a test. All of this stuff has in common that when you encounter difficulty, you learn how to grapple with it. Okay. We're going to do uh, one more activity on this, and then we're going to write. So here's the activity. Your job is to draw as many lines between your two columns as you logically can. So, for example, if you said, I want to be happy in life, how does any of these help with that? So look at your list, and you get to be creative here. You're not going to have to prove this to the class. You're just going to have to prove this to yourself. Good. I see some people drawing lines. Exactly. What in column A... The me column connects to anything in column B. <laughs> Theoretically, how could the stuff that we do in class help you to get what you want? Yep, drawing those lines. So those of you guys here on Friday, what was the little video clip that I showed you? I showed you the montage, right? Yeah, rock. Okay. What does Rocky want? What is in his column A? He wants to win a boxing match. He has been invited to the ring by the heavyweight champion of the world at the time, Apollo Creed. And Apollo Creed's intention is to basically embarrass Rocky. He's doing a publicity stunt. Rocky is not interested in being embarrassed. Rocky wants to go into that ring and win. In his words, he wants to prove that he's not a bum. Prove that he's not a bum. So what is he doing in the montage video? What's in his column B? Rocky's column B. Running. Is he going to actually run in that boxing match? No. What else is he doing in column B? Beating like the, like the, cow. the big sides of yeah. beef in the... Uh, yes. He is punching giant... Uh, cow carcasses. Is he going to do that in the ring, in the actual match? Maybe. He, he's going to have to punch a guy, but it's not going to be hanging there cold 
stationary, right? So it's my point is Rocky is motivated to do this seemingly pointless stuff, stuff that is not actually going to directly get him this, but he's using this to get himself here. This stuff for Rocky is pretty boring, pretty repetitive. Day after day after day, it gets old. But what he wants, he believes this can get him there. So I want you to write toward that idea. And we're just going to speak hypothetically. This class and its work could be important to my life, to what you actually want. Because, and I want you to just go to the races for seven minutes and write as much as you can about that. Just like our warm-ups, your goal is to put words on the page. You can describe specific things that you drew arrows to. Just stay on this general topic. How the heck could this stuff I'm having you do matter for this? Only you can answer that question. Go ahead. You got seven minutes to push.